What's up everybody? Welcome back to York Reacts and I hope that you're having a great weekend. It's Comic Con weekend over in San Diego. It is hot out there. I'll tell you what. That's why I'm wearing my white shirt. I'm wearing my shorts. <laughs> Doing everything I can to try to stay cool. So I hope you're having a good time. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be checking out Black Adam. This is a new Comic Con trailer that came out. It's nice. It's short and sweet. It looks like a minute and 23 seconds. So we are for sure going to dissect this trailer. I do uh, animation for a living for films and games, and so I'm going to dive in. We're going to take a look at the trailer, like the whole thing, and then we're going to kind of dissect it, and I'm going to go over some shots and see what we can find out. See if I can, you know, show you guys something that other people won't in other videos. So, let's dive in, shall we? My powers are not a gift. Wow. But a curse. <laughs> of course. Ooh, that looks epic. I'm afraid. Uh oh. You believe you are not worthy. Oh, look at that. Dr. Fate up in here, bud. Look at there's gonna be a lot to talk about here. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. Good old Pierce Frozen, baby. Wow. The world needed a hero. Dude. Look at him, he's shredded. Who is that? Instead, it got me. Uh-oh. Was that Hawkman? <laughs> nice. Dude. Well. Of course we're gonna have to dive into this. Sick. <laughs> nice. There's a lot to like unpack there in the what was it like the minute and twenty seconds of that trailer. So uh, sit back, grab your popcorn, let's check out some of these cool scenes here, huh? So, I'm going to scroll back a bit here, and the first thing I want to kind of talk about is the very, very first scene. So, this opens up. This has got to be a lot of CG and effects, and he's floating up in there in the sky. This could be an all-CG scene right here. Um, it looks beautiful. Love the lighting. Love how he's floating there. And it's got like this ripple effect to the cloth and everything looks great. This next scene, <laughs> these kids panicking, running. The, the scene that stood out to me was um, coming up here in a second. Right here. So when he's standing there and getting electrified, this scene looked CG as well. I don't, I think the rock, um, okay, so the what's happening right here probably is the rock is there, right? He's standing there looking buff as shit. And then they've done an effect on his eyes. They've done like lighting. Uh, post effect lighting so they've done all those all the electricity all the different stuff which is looking really cool and and sometimes what happens in these CG um, effects is they will put a body double under that's there so the lightning is hitting like a body double and the body double is just invisible and you're not seeing the body double so that the lightning knows where to hit and reflect and then it's gonna track and follow like the rocks real movement that could be a way they've done it. There's there's so many different ways to kind of do the same thing in, in visual effects and animation and stuff. So you never know. But that's kind of how I see them doing this scene. Um, it could just be the rock there and then just some effects. Uh, either way, it looks really great. Boom, that explosion is insane. This is a cool scene. It reminds me of Superman. Him flying through there and just knocking the planes. It just... The way it looks right there reminds me of Superman. And then right here coming up, Dr. Fate looks so good. He looks so good. Love the costume. Everything looks great. I can't wait to see that. I mean, I could go see a whole Dr. Fate film, to be honest. <laughs> and like I said before, this girl, um, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna have to look it up. We'll see who she is. No idea. I should probably know my lore. Awesome scene. So epic, dude, this whole section right here. I also... Oh, okay, so that guy right there, his outfit, um, I think that's Adam Smasher. Um, at least from the logo on his chest. Let me see here later on, because I think they show the same guy. He looks so sick here in the hood, dude. Like, The Rock looks dope here. 
he just he looks evil and epic. Usually he's so funny and all that, so this is good. I want to see him look badass and tear people apart. This looks really wicked. This scene, boom! When that thing comes flying in, that's a cool, really epic scene. See right here, dude, dude the rock, he is shredded. He is so big. But this is the physical embodiment of a superhero, right? There was people like Lou Ferrigno and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. A lot of these dudes, these huge dudes, they, they they don't have to do shit. They just like put on the suit and that's it. You don't even need CG, bro. Like a lot of these scenes, you don't need it. You just put him in a suit and you're like, damn, okay. You're a superhero for sure. <laughs> Cause they already look like it. I mean, come on, look at him. He looks massive. Look at him, dude. He's huge. Jesus, right here. So. This guy right here uh, that they're showing, I think, is Adam Smasher. Because he's got the outfit. So if I could just play it back one more time. So right after this, it shows him. He's got the blue, he's got the red, he's got the little, like, trippy symbol on the... It's got to be him. It looks like Adam Smasher. And that's what, uh, earlier, I think, that we saw, the guy in the black hair. What an epic trailer. And then they reveal Hawkman right here. Boom. This looks so sick. Can't wait to see this movie. It looks like Hawkman's gonna be a big part of it. Big old huge battle scene. Like this movie, the movie you gotta go see in the theater, right? These type of films, do not chill at your house and rent the movie and, and just hang out and buy the DVD or whatever you're gonna do to go see it. Don't do it that way, please, because when you go see a movie like this in a theater, it's so much more impactful as a viewer, right? It's like seeing Jurassic Park and at, at the movie theater and you're close up. That's how you want to see it. You don't see Jurassic Park for the first time at your house on a little 32 inch TV. Don't do that, right? And that's the same thing with this movie. I would highly recommend go seeing it on the big screen. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I dove into some of these little, you know, trailer pieces. There's some really cool effects in here. And so I want to know what you guys think if you're going to go see it. So uh, let me know. And I appreciate all your time and support. You could be doing anything with your day right now. It's Saturday. So I appreciate you coming by, checking out my video. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!